Brought to you by wikivd.com. John Williams John Towner Williams is an American composer, conductor, and pianist. With a career spanning over six decades, he has composed some of the most popular and recognizable film scores in cinematic history, to many of the highest grossing films of all time, including Jaws, the Star Wars series, Superman, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, the Indiana Jones series, the first two Jurassic Park films, Schindler's List, and the first three Harry Potter films. Williams has been associated with director Steven Spielberg since 1974, composing music for all but three of his feature films. Other notable works by Williams include theme music for the Olympic Games, NBC Sunday Night Football, The Mission, theme used by NBC News, the television series Lost in Space and Land of the Giants, and the incidental music for the first season of Gilligan's Island. Williams has composed numerous classical concerti and other works for orchestral ensembles and solo instruments. He served as the Boston Pops principal conductor from 1980 to 1993, and is now the orchestra's laureate conductor. Williams has won five Academy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, seven British Academy Film Awards, and 23 Grammy Awards. With 50 Academy Award nominations, Williams is the second most nominated individual, after Walt Disney. In 2005, the American Film Institute selected Williams' score to 1977's Star Wars as the greatest American film score of all time. The soundtrack to Star Wars was additionally preserved by the Library of Congress into the National Recording Registry for being culturally Historically, or aesthetically significant, Williams was inducted into the Hollywood Bowls Hall of Fame in 2000, and was a recipient of the Kennedy Center Honors in 2004, and the AFI Life Achievement Award in 2016. Williams composed the score for eight movies in the top 20 highest grossing films at the U.S. box office. Early Life and Family John Towner Williams was born on February 8, 1932 in Floral Park, New York, the son of Esther and Johnny Williams, a jazz percussionist who played with the Raymond Scott Quintet. Williams has said of his lineage, My father was a main man, we were very close. My mother was from Boston. My father's parents ran a department store in Bangor, Maine, and my mother's father was a cabinet maker. People with those roots are not inclined to be lazy. In 1948, the Williams family moved to Los Angeles, where John attended North Hollywood High School, graduating in 1950. He later attended the University of California, Los Angeles, and studied privately with the Italian composer Mario Castelnuovo Tedesco. Williams had originally briefly attended Los Angeles City College for one semester as the school had a studio jazz band. In 1952, Williams was drafted into the U.S. Air Force, where he conducted and arranged music for the U.S. Air Force Band as part of his assignments. In 1955, following his Air Force service, Williams moved to Slidell, Louisiana and entered Juilliard School where he studied piano with Rosina Levin. During this time Williams worked as a jazz pianist in the city's many jazz clubs. After moving to Los Angeles he began working as a session musician, most notably for composer Henry Mancini. He worked with Mancini on the Peter Gunn soundtrack, where his fellow musicians in the rhythm section included guitarist Bob Bain, bassist Roly Bundock, and drummer Jack Sperling, many of whom were also featured on the Mr. Lucky television series, known as Johnny during the 1950s, early 1960s. Williams composed the music for many TV programs and served as music arranger and band leader for a series of popular music albums with the singer Frankie Lane. Williams has two brothers, Donald and Jerry, both of whom work as percussionists in Los Angeles. Film and television scoring while skilled in a variety of 20th-century compositional idioms, Williams' most familiar style may be described as a form of neo-romanticism, inspired by the late 19th century's large-scale orchestral music, in the style of Tchaikovsky. 
or Richard Wagner's compositions, and their concept of leitmotif, that inspired his film music predecessors. After his studies at Juilliard and the Eastman School of Music, Williams returned to Los Angeles, where he began working as an orchestrator at film studios. Among other composers, Williams worked with Franz Waxman, Bernard Herrmann, and Alfred Newman, and also with his fellow orchestrators Conrad Salinger and Bob Franklin. Williams was also a studio pianist, performing on film scores by composers such as Jerry Goldsmith, Elmer Bernstein, and Henry Mancini. Williams recorded with Henry Mancini the film scores of 1959's Peter Gunn, 1962's Days of Wine and Roses, and 1963's Charade. Williams composed music for various television programs in the 1960s. The pilot episode of Gilligan's Island, Bachelor Father, The Craft Suspense Theatre, Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, and Land of the Giants. Williams' first film composition was for the 1958 B-movie Daddy-O, and his first screen credit came two years later in Because They're Young. He soon gained notice in Hollywood for his versatility in composing jazz, piano, and symphonic music. Williams received his first Academy Award nomination for his film score for 1967's Valley of the Dolls, and was nominated again for his score for 1969's Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Williams broke through to win his first Academy Award for his film score in the 1971 film Fiddler on the Roof. In 1972, he composed the score for the Robert Altman-directed psychological thriller Images which earned him another nomination in the category Best Music, Original Dramatic Score at the 1973 Academy Awards. During the early 1970s, Williams' prominence grew thanks to his work for now film producer Irwin Allen's disaster films, composing the scores. For 1972's The Poseidon Adventure and 1974's The Towering Inferno. In addition, he scored Universal's 1974 film Earthquake for director Mark Robson, completing a trinity of scores for the decade's highest grossing disaster films. He also scored the 1972 film The Cowboys, a western starring John Wayne and directed by Mark Riddle. In 1974, director Steven Spielberg approached Williams to compose the music for his featured directorial debut, The Sugarland Express. They teamed up again a year later for Spielberg's second film, Jaws. Widely considered to be a classic suspense film, its film scores ominous, two note ostinato has become synonymous with sharks and approaching danger. The score earned Williams his second Academy Award, his first, for an original composition. Shortly thereafter, Spielberg and Williams began a long collaboration for their next feature film together, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. During their two-year-long collaboration, they crafted its distinctive five-note figure that functions both in the background music and as the communications signal of the film's extraterrestrials. Williams also used a system of musical hand signals in the film that were based on hand signs, created by John Cohen and refined by Zoltan Kodaly. During the same period, Spielberg recommended Williams to his friend and fellow director George Lucas, who needed a composer to score his ambitious 1977 space epic film Star Wars. Williams delivered a grand symphonic score in the fashion of Richard Strauss and Golden Age Hollywood composers Max Steiner and Eric Wolfgang Korngold. Its main theme, Luke's theme, is among the most widely recognized in film history, and the Force theme and Princess Leia's theme are well-known examples of leitmotif. Both the film and its score were immensely successful. It remains the highest-grossing non-popular music recording of all time, and Williams won another Academy Award for Best Original Score. In 1980, Williams returned to score The Empire Strikes Back, where he introduced the Imperial March as the theme for Darth Vader and the Galactic Empire, Yoda's theme, and Han Solo and the Princess. The original Star Wars trilogy concluded with the 1983 film Return of the Jedi, for which Williams' score provided most notably the Emperor's theme, Parade of the Ewoks, and Luke and Leia. Both scores earned him Academy Award nominations 
Williams' work, with director Richard Donner to score the 1978 film Superman. The score's heroic and romantic themes, particularly the main march, the Superman fanfare and the love theme, known as, Can You Read My Mind, appeared in the four sequel films. For the 1981 film Raiders of the Lost Ark, created by Lucas and directed by Spielberg, Williams wrote a rousing main theme known as, The Raiders March to accompany the film's hero, Indiana Jones. He composed separate themes to represent the Ark of the Covenant, the character Marion, and the story's Nazi villains. Additional themes were featured in his scores to the subsequent films in the franchise Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, a prequel, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Williams composed an emotional and sensitive score to Spielberg's 1982 fantasy film E.T. The Extraterrestrial. Williams was awarded a fourth Academy Award for this score. The Spielberg-Williams collaboration resumed with the director's 1987 film Empire of the Sun, and has continued to the present, spanning genres from science fiction thrillers, to somber tragedies, to Eastern-tinged melodramas, to dramatic war films. Spielberg has said, I call it an honorable privilege to regard John Williams as a friend. In 1999, George Lucas launched the first of a series of prequels to the original Star Wars trilogy. Williams was asked to score all three films, starting with The Phantom Menace. Along with themes from the previous films, Williams created new themes to be used as leitmotifs in 2002's Attack of the Clones and 2005's Revenge of the Sith. Most notable of these was, Duel of the Fates, an aggressive choral movement in the style of Verdi's Requiem, utilizing harsh Sanskrit lyrics that broadened the style of music used in the Star Wars films. Also of note was, an Arkans theme, which begins as an innocent childlike melody, and morphs insidiously into a quote of the sinister, Imperial March. For episode 2, Williams composed, Across the Stars, a love theme for Padme Amidala and Anakin Skywalker. The final installment combined many of the themes created for the series' previous films, including The Emperor's Theme, The Imperial March, Across the Stars, Jewel of the Fates, The Force Theme, Rebel Fanfare, Luke's Theme, and Princess Leia's Theme, as well as new themes for General Grievous and the film's climax entitled Battle of the Heroes. In the new millennium, Williams was asked to score the film adaptations of J.K. Rowling's widely successful book series, Harry Potter. He went on to score the film franchise's first three installments. As with his Superman theme, the most important theme from Williams' scores for the Harry Potter films, dubbed Hedwig's theme, has been used in the fourth through to the eighth films, scored by Patrick Doyle. Nicholas Hooper and Alexander Desplat, like the main themes from Jaws, Star Wars, Superman, and Indiana Jones, fans have come to identify the Harry Potter films with Williams' original compositions. Williams was asked to return to score the film franchise's final installment, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part II. But director David Yates stated that the schedules simply did not align as he would have had to provide Williams with a rough cut of the film sooner than was possible. In 2006, Superman Returns was completed under Bryan Singer's direction, best known for directing the first two films in the X-Men series. Although Singer did not request Williams to compose a score for the intentionally Donner-esque film, he employed the skills of X2 composer John Ottman to incorporate Williams' original Superman theme, as well as those for Lois Lane, Krypton, and Smallville. In 2011, the main title theme and elements of Can You Read My Mind were notably used in the final scene of Finale, the series finale of the WB CW television series Smallville. Don Davis performed a similar role for Jurassic Park the Third, recommended by Williams himself to the producers. In 2008, Williams returned to the Indiana Jones series to score the fourth film, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He received a Grammy nomination for his work on the film, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was also the only film score from the Indiana Jones film series not to be nominated for an Academy Award. 
During 2008, he also composed music for two documentaries, Warner at War and A Timeless Call, the latter of which was directed by Steven Spielberg. After a three-year absence from film scoring, Williams composed the scores for Spielberg's The Adventures of Tintin and War Horse in 2011. Both scores received overwhelmingly positive reviews, with both scores earning Oscar nominations, and the latter being nominated for a Golden Globe. The Oscar nominations are Williams 46th and 47th, making him the most nominated musician in Academy Awards history, and the second most nominated overall, following Walt Disney. Williams won an Annie Award, for his score for The Adventures of Tintin in 2012. In 2012, Williams scored Spielberg's film Lincoln, and subsequently received his 48th Academy Award nomination. In February 2013, Williams expressed his interest in working in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, stating, Now we're hearing of a new set of movies coming in 2015, 2016. So I need to make sure I'm still ready to go in a few years for what I hope would be continued work with George. He also scored the 2013 film The Book Thief, which marked his first collaboration with a director other than Spielberg since 2005. The score earned him Academy Award, Golden Globe, and BAFTA nominations and earned him a Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Composition. It was his 44th nomination for Best Original Score, setting a new record for the most nominations in that category. In 2015, he scored Star Wars The Force Awakens, earning him his 50th Academy Award nomination. Williams was also set to write the score for Bridge of Spies that year, which would have been his 27th collaboration with director Steven Spielberg. However, in March 2015, it was announced that Thomas Newman would replace Williams for the film, as Williams' schedule was interrupted by a minor health issue and he became unavailable to score the film. This is the first Spielberg film since The Color Purple not scored by Williams. In 2016, Williams composed the score for Spielberg's The BFG, which opened in July 2016. Williams will score the animated short film, Dear Basketball, directed by Glenn Keane and based on a poem by Kobe Bryant. Williams has expressed interest in composing the score for Star Wars, The Last Jedi, to be released on December 15, 2017. On June 9, 2016, an interview with Variety stated he expects to start working on it in 2017 if attached to the project. At a Tanglewood concert in August 2016, Williams confirmed he is scheduled to start scoring the film. He has also been attached to compose the scores for Steven Spielberg's The Papers and the Fifth Indiana Jones film, and is also presumed to be working on Star Wars Episode 9, a three-disc box set compilation of all of Williams' musical scores for Steven Spielberg's films. Titled John Williams and Steven Spielberg, The Ultimate Collection, will be released on March 17, 2017, which will include two previous score compilations from 1991 and 1995. Williams' body of work in film composing was featured in the 2017 documentary film Score, a film music documentary. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.